So containerization, I think this is one of the interesting ones that I felt like the media entertainment space hasn't quite woken up to yet. I'm just starting to see companies containerize their on-prem applications. Obviously, one of the things that you see, financial industry started first because you got these huge fintech apps that, especially banks and things, they have to move quickly. They have ransomware and you know, all these other issues, cyber attacks. So they had these monolithic applications that were built like 20 years ago. Half of the people who built them, they're no longer well, around. So it's like, how do I go back to that code? It wasn't well documented and it breaks. And, and you're like, okay, how do I fix that? What do I do? I'm scared of touching the code. Well, you look at the containerization piece and now you only have to work on a piece of it. Well, in M&E, I mean, look at the most of the applications we have throughout the entire workflow cycle. They wanna move a lot of this to the cloud. And if you wanna move it to the cloud, you require containerization because be it has to be highly variable because apps and services have to move in and out of that space very quickly. 